It's actually part of my master's research, studying how the brain works. Inhibition is one of the best ways to build depth because now not only does the player have to feel happy when they do something right, but they also feel happy when they don't do something and still get it right. That's the more fun part, neurophysiologically speaking. Or in a different way, if you're using the same buttons for different things, that's fun. Especially when you have to try to master the fact that you should or shouldn't press something, that's even more fun. And my game did not have that at all. My game said, you want to move? Press the mouse button. You want to move up? Press the mouse button. Do you want to do something other than move? Too bad you can't. Press the mouse button. The reason why I like white knuckles mechanics a lot more is because it makes use of my two hands, the two buttons, in a unique way over and over, in a way I've never really seen before. The closest thing I've seen to this is probably Terraria's demon altars. You shouldn't hit them with certain tools because they hurt you. You have to break them after a certain point in the game to spawn certain items. And then sometimes you have to actually just stand in front of them and craft something. These different items and actions from the same thing makes the game more fun and interesting. That adds depth. Same thing, different functions. If you add a bunch of different functions with different things, that's just adding content. You want depth. You want something fun and interesting. And my game didn't have that at all. So in recap, why didn't I make a game like White Knuckle? Hello, not left from the future here. If you wanna watch the full video, there's a button right below on the bottom of your screen. I really appreciate it if you check out the full video on how and why I couldn't make such a crazy cool indie classic.